Your Construction Master Pro has some pretty unique hidden functions. Let's look at how to use the one for circles, columns, and cones. The Construction Master Pro can understand four measurements about a circle, but it only needs to know two to solve for everything else. First, you could tell it the arc length or the angle measurement formed by the central angle. For the arc length, you just have to enter a unit of length. Here, I'll do five feet and then push the arc button. If instead I wanted to enter the arc's angle, I would just put in a value without a unit of length and then push arc. Either the radius or diameter could also be entered. For radius, I would enter some unit of length and then push convert before the arc button to apply the secondary function. The diameter just needs a length and then push the circle button. The last two values I could enter would be the chord length and the segment rise. The rise is super easy to enter, just enter a length and then push the rise button. And then for the chord length, just enter another length and push the run button. The last aspect of circles the calculator can understand is 3D shapes like columns and cones. For both of those, first I need to enter the diameter and then push the circle button. Next, I need to enter the height and push the height key. Lastly, pushing convert before the circle button will apply the secondary function for columns and cone surface area and volume.